Me and my mom, we're gonna go look at a uh, truck for sale. It's a International uh, 4700 series. All right, guys, here she is, DT 466, um, International 4700, uh, non-CDL. It's under 26,000 pounds. I got 18 foot of frame, so that's cool. Um, oh, it was kind of it was kind of a learning curve. The guy hooked me up these two lights. So, because I was like, oh, I'm kind of afraid of cops. And he's like, I'll get you some lights. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a logging truck. I'll probably put logging uh, standards on it and use it for logging. Tires are in good shape. Uh, let's, let's do a quick walk around while we have daylight. The AC only needs a hose. It, uh, that's the only thing it needs to work. The lights work. He did all the body work on it. Bondo and stuff like that. It's basically ready for paint. Oh, yeah. Big engine, it's got a turbo on it, new filters, um, no oil leak, which is nice. Uh, new brake lines, the, yeah, it's heavy duty, definitely. It's got a, uh, what I call a mechanical shutoff. It doesn't do by the key, you actually pull a lever. And it's a DT-466 engine. Um, diesel, obviously. What else? Yeah. Oh, she's high miles. Very high miles, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not the original engine. She's at 400-something thousand miles. safely spent about <laughs> uh, we, uh, I'm tired uh, 60 gallons of gas <laughs> went about 600 and some miles beds in good shape strapped down I uh, put some safety lights on the back because I don't like my lights down here because some of them are broken so I wanted to make sure I have enough lights really so yeah it has a GI hitch built in which is awesome I like those Hey, right, here's where you're going. I got it off the truck, out of the trailer. Now we're gonna slide it onto the bed, and I'm put a timber there. And the idea is, I'm gonna lower this, lift this part up, and then we'll just try to back it on there and see if it slides on. Use a come along, maybe. And my friend with his Cummins truck going by. Rolling coal. He's got to come and swap in that old Chevy. He's an asshole. All right, so I've got the bed where I want it. I've hung it off about 20 inches. And the reason why is so the weight is a little beyond that back axle. And also, um, when I put wood on it, if it's long enough, it's going to stick out about two feet. So most of the weight will be on the back axle, and that's how you want it. So the bed's now in a good place. I've made enough room up here um, between the headache rack and the cab to put a toolbox. 
and that's important to me um, to put my straps in, chain, walk down things, all that. So basically all I need to do now is make brackets to hold the bed to the truck. And I do not want to make the, I don't want to weld the bed on. I want it to be able to be removable in case, let's say, God forbid I wreck this truck, I want to be able to take the bed off. Or God forbid, um, you know, I don't know, I want to turn this into a dump truck. I want to be able to still have the bed, I mean still have the truck. So the first place I'm probably build a bracket is right here because there's holes already drilled in the frame. And um, this is where the old mounting system was, as it looks like terrible welds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this with an angle grinder, cut off weld, and hit it with a hammer, get that off. And then I'm going to take a piece of steel, cut it to fit here, I think it's about 15 inches, mark it on the other side with a uh, sharpie, and take it to the drill press and basically cut it out. And then I have a friend who's a mobile welder, he's going to come by and give me some really sick beads on that. And so I guess the goal would be to have two on that side, one on this side, one on that side. Um, and then there place to bolt right here is a cross member and there's holes already drilled. And there place to be right here. So this is my <coughs> logging truck as Briggs inspects it. It's a International 4700 series with a DT 466 and an AT 454 transmission. Allison Automatic. Uh, transmissions similar to what they put in school buses. Actually the same as what they put in school buses. Um, if I was to do an upgrade, I'd probably get an MT646 Allison that has lockers. Uh, it's a little bit better. Lockers give you a little more torque and uh, you don't, there's less slippage. But um, yeah, I haul uh, the logs I mill. Um, to give you an idea, a load of logs right like that, milled and slabbed out, probably make me about two grand. So I do about a load a week. Gotta make my money. And um, it's been a good truck. So I got red sycamore, black walnut, pecan, uh, what we call blue pine. It's beetle kill pine. It's got blues in it. And then a good old red oak log that's about 40 inches of ram. Yep. So probably around 20,000 pounds. Got a ticket the other day, and apparently I have to put not for hire on my truck. So and now it says not for hire. Guy asked me, he's like, what do you what do you do with the lugs? And I said, frankly, that's none of your business. Well, this is a commercial vehicle. I was like, is it? And he's like, well, it's gotta be over 26,000 pounds. I'm like, no. And I had to show him the uh, the ID plate and showed a cop that was not over 26,000 pounds. And I do not need a CDL to drive it. And he was like, well, I wanna see you have a not for hire sign. So I said, okay. So I had a friend make up some stickers for me. Uh, logging truck has been great. It's replaced my equipment trailer to haul logs. I actually have the equipment trailer for sale because I'm going to get a smaller one that I can legally pull with the logging truck. And that would be a what they call a uh, five ton. Because legally with my license I can do a truck that's rated at 26,000 pounds and a trailer no more than 10,000 pounds if I read the letter of the law correctly. And uh, yeah. My big thing is don't advertise, you know, I don't advertise myself as a sawmilling company. I mill logs and occasionally I sell them. Mm -hmm. It's no one's business what I do with my logs. No one's. But yeah, truck's a good truck. Glad I built it. Paint job is a roller paint job, just foam brushed and a foam roller. Turned out great.